you have a pair of parametric equations and they don't actually look that tricky, the thing that makes this question trickier than the average parametric equations question is that we're going to work with a quite a general coordinate. It's going to be when t is equal to p. So basically our coordinate is in terms of the parameter and we're going to write down the, the tangent in essentially in terms of this parameter as well. We're asked to work out, find the equation of the tangent at p. Now the tangent is going to have the same gradients as the curve at p. So the first thing we need to do is work out dy by dx. And to do this, we use the chain rule, dy by dt, dt by dx, which often is written dy by dt over dx by dt. So x is actually t to the minus 1, which means dx by dt is going to be minus t to the minus 2. And if I swap it around to make it dt by dx, actually then going to become minus t squared. So it might be advantageous to just put that in rather than divide by a reciprocal. And then dy by dt is, is just going to be 2. So I'm going to get 2, and I could either write 2 over minus 1 over t squared, or I could directly just go with 2 times minus t squared. I'm going to get minus 2 t squared as my answer. That's what I'm trying to get at. So now when t is equal to p, which is what's required here for this point, dy by dx is going to be minus 2p squared. And this is the gradient at p of the curve described by the parametric equations, but also and the tangent. And we're nearly there then. We can just use the equation of a straight line. y minus y1 is mx minus x1. Substitute in, so y minus 2p is going to equal minus 2p squared x minus 1 over p. Just going to expand this out, so minus 2p squared x, and then I'm going to get plus 2p, and therefore y is going to be minus 2p squared x plus 4p when I add 2p to both sides. Okay, good start to this. So, last part. We're then told that the tangent crosses the x-axis at A, and the normal crosses the x-axis at B, and we're asked to show that the ratio P A to P B is 1 to 2p squared. Well, I think a, a good idea for this is to get a little picture down of what is actually going on. The question doesn't demand it directly, but it actually is quite quick to write the, um, the parametric equations in Cartesian form, because we, because we can see that t is actually going to equal 1 over x, and therefore y is going to be 2 times 1 over x, or 2 over x. So this is the curve, it's going to look like that. We've just worked out the tangent at a point. Like my, my sketch might not be you know, perfectly accurate, but it gives enough of an idea of what's going on. So this is going to be point P. And let me draw the tangent. something like this. So it says the tangent crosses the x-axis at point A. Okay, I reckon it's a good idea to, to work this out because remember we've worked out that equation. If I 
that's over here y equals minus 2p squared. So when y is equal to 0, we're going to get 2p squared x equals 4p. I can divide through by p. And I can see that x is going to equal 4 over 2p, or simply 2 over p. So I've got this coordinate a. Which is a 2 over p 0. Next up, I need to deal with the normal. So that is going to be at right angles. Something like that. And then we're told that it crosses at B, so I'll just put B there for the moment, but we need to get this equation. So the gradient of the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent, and we had minus 2p squared, so it's going to be 1 over 2p squared. So I can do the same thing, y, because it goes through the same point, y minus 2p is going to equal this time 1 over 2p squared times x minus 1 over p. And I, I don't know, I don't need to rearrange it to make y the subject. I can just look at when, again, when y is 0. I'm going to get minus 2p equal to this. Multiply through by 2p, 2p squared. So minus 4p cubed. And therefore x is going to be 1 over p minus 4p cubed. I could put it uh, over a common denominator, but I'm going to leave it like this for the moment. So we're nearly there. We just need to work out the distances. P, B to start with. I can create a right angle triangle. The height is going to be 2P of this triangle. And then how much do I have to go along to get from 1 over P minus 4p cubed to 1 over p, it's simply going to be 4p cubed. I, I subtract them. I do this, uh, the second one, 1 over p minus this. It's Yeah, I'm just going to be left with this part, but without the negative. So therefore, pb is going to equal four p cubed squared plus 2p squared, square rooted. That's, I can factorize out a 4p squared. I'm going to, you know, simplify it as much as possible. And then I can square root them separately, so I'm going to get 2p multiplied by 4p to the 4 plus 1. Okay, well this is this is good because I've managed to get a 2p, uh, not quite a 2p squared yet. 
Right, now for PA. Running out of room here, so I'm just going to come down a little bit. So now I can draw another triangle again with height 2p. But this time I'm going from 1 over p to 2 over p, so the base is going to be 1 over p. So pa is going to be 1 over p all squared plus 2p all squared. Square rooted. Now remember, I'm trying to write it in the ratio, well, the ratio PA to PB. So I want to try and make it look the same. Here I've got a 4P to the 4 plus 1, and here I don't at the moment. But if I take out a common factor of 1 over P squared, then suddenly I'm going to get 1 plus 4P to the 4, exactly the same thing. And then I can square root them separately. And therefore, PA to PB And for PB, I had that there. So I can divide through by the roots. It can never equal zero. I can multiply through by P. And that was the result that we're asked for. Cool. So that is it. A really unique question on parametric equations. And, you know, at the start, you sort of thought, why, why are we doing this generally? But it does actually come together. And what, what this question is saying is that it doesn't matter where you put the point on this curve. It could be here, for example. When you draw your tangent and your normal, it will necessarily be such that their lengths are in this ratio. Okay, of course, p is going to be changing, so it's not like they're it's in a they're in a constant ratio, but they are always in the ratio of one to two p squared. So yeah, enjoyed that one, and I hope you did as well. Well done.